In today's edition of Fiery Friday, which is part two of a four-part Fiery Friday series titled Fiery Automation Tools, I'm going to show you how you can leverage Fiery hot folders and virtual printers to create workflow automation. So to do this, we're going to go into Command Workstation and go to Device Center. And once we're inside a device center, we can select the virtual printers options. Now keep in mind, virtual printers and hot folders is standard on all external fireys and is an option on most embedded controllers. So once I'm in virtual printers, I can hit the new button. And what's going to happen is I can name this. So let's just name this one here duplex. And I'm just going to turn duplex on for this example. So I'm going to make this a print action. And I'm going to come here and define what type of properties I want to select. So underneath job properties, I'm just going to turn on duplex and then hit OK. And then hit OK again. And now I've created a simple workflow that will turn duplex on for a print job coming from an application like Microsoft Office or Adobe or whatever. Another thing I could do is I could hit new again. And you're going to notice if I come down here and type in corner staple, Okay, and then go down here and maybe we'll make this a process and hold. You'll see that we actually have defaults already created, which I created in the first version of job presets, and we can call that corner staple. So at that point there, I've created another virtual printer using job presets that I've created earlier. So at this point here, we can close this out, and we'll open up this application so we have a document. If I go to File Print, You'll notice underneath file print, I have corner staple available and I have duplex available for my print job. So that's virtual printers. Now let's move on to fiery hot folders. So in this example, we're going to open up our hot folders application and we're going to create a new workflow and this one we're going to call booklet. At that point there, I can select the location where I want this hot folder to reside and we will go select our fiery that we want to connect to for this. And we'll make this again a process and hold. So again, I'm going to go to my job properties, and you're going to see here are all my job presets that I created earlier. In this case, we'll select the one I call, call booklet, which was created in our first version of Fiery Automation Tools. Okay, we'll make sure that uh, we have all the options turned off that we may need to have turned off for this. And at that point, there we're going to hit OK, and now we have a new hot folder called booklet that's been created. So now what I can do is I can go to a job. I can do a right click on it if it's on a Microsoft uh, Windows machine. And I can select booklet. And then what you're going to see is when we come over here to command workstation, the job is going to come in. It'll end up processing the job so we can see what the finished results are on our screen. And here's the finished result of a job that was run through fiery hot folders creating very simple workflow automation for redundant jobs in your shop.